Hey everybody, it's great to be back from vacation. I appreciate all the well wishes. Let's get into today's book review. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. So we're about to do the second David Klausmeyer book review. First one we did, I don't know, a few months ago is Favorite Flies, published in 2020. This next one is 101 Favorite Nymphs and Wet Flies. So we talked a little bit about David Klausmeyer. He's the editor of Fly Tire Magazine. He published a book very similar to this, 101 Favorite Dry Flies in 2013, published this one in 2014. So let's talk a little bit about the book. 216 pages, paperback, but a very solid, good feeling book. Nice high quality paper, great photographs. Um, what type of book is it? It's definitely not a how-to book. It's a pattern encyclopedia, sort of, but I would call it more of a history book because each of the patterns in here, he does go into, you know, a little bit about who created it and then some tips on how to fish it. And occasionally there are some tips on how to tie it. But for the most part, the coolest thing about this book is all the history he talks about. So that's really it for the format. 101 flies in here. The first 21 are really classic old school wet flies. You've got several in here that we've tied on this channel. We've got a Watson's Fancy, Alexandra, Cow Dung, Bergman Fontanellis. Here's an example right here, March Brown. He's got the, a good looking picture of it, the recipe for it, and then a page or so about the history. There are some really cool patterns in here. Look at this one, the Silver Doctor. This is almost a salmon looking fly. It's a pretty elaborate fly, but not all of them in here are this complicated. There are plenty of standard flies that even a beginner can handle. Then after the first 21 flies, he's got 74 in the section called Nymphs, Larva, Scuds, and More. In this section, you got patterns like the CDC and Hen. Caddis Larva, Red Squirrel Nymph right here. Lots of stone flies, the Brassy. Several of these that we've tied here. Cowbird's Bird's Nest. That's a pretty cool one. We haven't done that yet, but we might soon. And then he wraps it up with six Stillwater flies. So who is this book for? Well, it could be for a beginner tire if you're just really interested in the history. But again, it's not a how-to book. It's more of a, a pattern encyclopedia with a, a bit of the history. But one more note, if you do have his favorite flies published in 2020, you might not want this one because there would be a, a lot of overlap. Okay, so let's do this. Let's give a copy of this book away. How we do it on this channel, leave a comment in here and we pick a hashtag. For this one, I'm just gonna pick nymphs, hashtag, N-Y-M-P-H-S. Make sure it's plural. We'll see it. I'll let this run for a week. Today is Sunday, July 18th, 2021. Next Sunday evening, I'll go to the random comment picker. We'll pick a winner and I'll get the book in the mail to you. So that's it for this one, everybody. Stick around if you want to see who the three winners are from last week's book, which was Mike Vala's Tying and Fishing, Bucktails and Other Hair Wings. What you're looking at is my computer screen, uh, my YouTube page. So what we do is, let's go over here, I'm gonna right click on the video and copy this link. I'll go up here to the YouTube random comment picker, paste the link in. I do have to filter on specific text. The hashtag here was bucktails. Now let's see how many comments we got that use the word bucktails. 102 comments, so 102 comments mention that. Let's pick a winner. Here's the first one. It'll scroll through and then settle on somebody. And we got Chrome Slayer. Well, that's a unique name. I <laughs> know it's not your real name, my friend. But uh, look under your comment and I will uh, tell you how to get this book. Let's pick one more winner. Cycling through, we've got Chrome Slayer and now we've got Tony Garrett. He says, looks like a great book. I would love to see his tips on fishing streamers. Well, you got it, Tony. You are the second winner. And let's pick the third winner here. Third winner is going to be Joe Sather. Harry Joe Sather. Well, congratulations, Joe. I think you've won something on here before. It's been a while, but uh, hey, welcome back, my friend. You get this book. So that's it, everybody. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, you know, hey, we're doing another one right now and going to be doing one every week through July. So if you didn't win this one, stick around. We'll be doing another one real soon. So take care, everybody. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.